Hi, everybody. All right, we're picking up immediately from the last video. So the avionics bus is in, which is great. Uh, we've connected the three wires up, well, the three main power wires up to it, right? Central bus, avionics bus, main bus. Those are all running towards the circuit breaker panel. They're connected. Everything is working great. Now it's just sort of time to push those wires out of the way and make it all nice and clean, which is cool. At the moment, what I'm doing is actually connecting in the switch, right? So anyone that's familiar with relays, right, you need to have uh, some kind of voltage across it to activate the relay, kind of like a kind of like a, a master connector, and that. I have by a big fat uh, switch. I think it's a uh, carling switch right on the panel, and then that goes to ground. And then your avionics bus is good. All right. So today, uh, besides that, uh, what we're doing is we're going to be moving a couple breakers around. Uh, if you look right now, you can see that that breaker panel has many rows of breakers, but the very bottom row had two on the very left hand side. So what we're doing is we're moving those to the right hand side. Why are we moving to the right-hand side? All right, well, so if you look at the breaker panel as it is now, right, uh, you can see that the three big 10-gauge lines I was talking about, those are coming down the left side, right? And at the same time, those that's also the side where we have the little jumpers between rows so that we share the 12 volts across everything. Uh, and down the right side is where all the load wires come in. And you really, you know, it's nice having them separated on on opposite sides, you know, just in case something gets loose, you know, we're just, we don't ever want to short anything. So the problem is those two bottom breakers on the bottom row are on the left side by the power, not by the loads. So I'm going to move those over to the right. I'm also switching a couple of them up. Uh, and I know the, the breaker work just never seems to end, but trust me, I think we're actually good. After we do the switch today, I think we're actually done. Well, for a while. <laughs> okay, so we had a quick update. Someone was asking uh, that I was, or someone said, reminded me that I was supposed to talk about my audio issues, why I couldn't hear myself on the first com. Um, I promise to take care of that in the next video. Uh, the reason I'm not saying it now is because the next video I'm actually working on trying to fix it, and it'll make more sense when I when you see the work, and then we can all have a good laugh at my expense, which I do on the daily basis. All right, another update. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Philippe here. Philippe has ordered an RV-14 and has referenced me as a builder of note. So $100 check for me. Thank you, Philippe. Good luck with the build. It certainly is a journey. I hate that phrase, a journey. All right, so yeah, it's, it's shocking how much time it actually takes to move breakers around. Right, because you've got lead wires, which, if you're like me, you prematurely cut to the perfect length, not ever thinking that you were going to need to move them. But when you need to move them, you're like, well, crap, now I need like an extra six inches of line or something like that. Well, it's time to rerun some new wire. Now, I will admit, uh, rerunning wire isn't particularly painful, but... You know, for the sake of having everything looking perfect, I, I'm trying to stop myself from rerunning half of everything behind the panel. So I'm going to definitely try to do that. All right, uh, we're getting ready to finalize up the step lights, and that's the you know the namesake of this video. Uh, here I am on the phone. Uh, I want I'm, I, I left this shot in so that you could check out the awesome furniture I built. Uh, that is. The very best that two by sixes can make some contemporary furniture. All right, enough of that. Okay, bottom right hand corner, you can see the hole where that's where the step goes in, and that's where we've also introduced the new step lights or pimp lights. Uh, you know, it's just a simple LED light with a positive and negative lead coming out of it back towards the panel. Uh, in this video, we are just finishing it up now. So. We've got the lights in place. We've got the quick disconnects. We're using the blade get disconnects, as you can see. Once everything is connected, I make sure to add a little uh, electrical tape around the connection so that they don't try to go anywhere. And once we've got everything shaped up here, we're about to fire them up. So this was a modification I was very pleased with. 
And I think when you see them here in just a second, you'll you'll see why it was totally worth it. Yeah, look at that. So you can see the step on the other side for reference as to the spot, but you know, imagine you're walking up to the plane at night, you don't want to bang your foot into the flap. We've got the courtesy lights to help you out. Isn't that, look at that. All right, in the next video, um, we're getting into the finalization of the CAN bus and the audio stuff, and I promise to explain <laughs> another aspect of why I'm such an idiot. <laughs> so uh, thank you for joining me, everybody, and see you soon.